Hi guys, I am Dr. Zainal Bora, and I have with me Dr. Vandana, who is sick. Exam. Relations to you, uh, Vandana. How are you feeling? Uh, has it sunk in yet? How how has it been since the result uh, has been declared? Ma'am, I was actually like watching a movie. I was watching Kanki. <laughs> And uh, I was just watching the movie and all of a sudden the result came and I just woke up and I was, I went to my room. My brother was like, did you get your results? Mm -hmm. So like I was pretty tensed and uh, on top of that, they gave a link over a link and the link was not loading. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, when the result came, I was just happy that, you know, I don't have to study like at least for some. You know, yeah. Yeah. Because my journey has been so long. And uh, oh my god, like I've written so many exams uh, to this day that I just wanted it, like at least some amount of this. Hmm. So I mean, I'm from they basically I'm from yeah yeah. You can tell us the entire long journey. Take as yeah. much as you want. The stage is all yours. Yeah. I I was actually trying to like the moment I got my like rank, I wanted to just thank you first. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I was one of the earliest like people who like I wanted to tell you. And uh, but somehow my message didn't reach. <laughs> oh, and I was trying so hard. Like I was messaging. Like uh, I think Kunal sir. Like sir, my message is not being seen. I just want to say thanks to ma'am. <laughs> and uh, on Insta also, I was inactive for a year. But I came. I became active and I thanked you. But still, you know, I just did <laughs> I not come. Things are destiny. You know, we are meant to uh, do this in person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, then in the afternoon, they were like, um, uh, somebody else is going to interview. I was like, oh, I can't talk to ma'am only. Okay. Finally, I was just happy that, okay, I can tell her, like, ma'am, whatever I've achieved, like, it's because of me. Thank you so much. That, that's not true, by the way, but uh, thank you so much. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, it's really something, ma'am, because some, like, it's like someone is there who is... Uh, like it is there to guide students, you know. That is most important. Like what you study, where you study. Yeah. Harrison's will have everything, but yeah. Harrison's will not tell you that uh, from Monday to Tuesday you study this subject and then you study for the test and all. Yeah. So yeah, like I came from K16. And I um, I'm from a I'm from Medic City Institute of Medical Sciences, which is a private, it's a pretty good college. Yeah. But uh, at the back of my head, I always like I wanted to like do something with you myself. Yeah. So at first I thought I'll uh, take US only. Hmm. So in my internship attempt, my attempt, my rank was around forty five thousand like that. Hmm. So I was like, okay, I'll just give it a shot. Hmm. Uh, like I, it, even then I was thinking I'll write US only only. So I was not preparing for PSM and OBD. I was not preparing for. I was reading for first day. Hmm. Then I gave my attempt. I got a rank of eight thousand two. But um, then my, like, I was slowly shifting towards, um, you know, like, I'll stay in India only for a while because I, I just wanted to stay here and figure things out. So my mom and my brother were like, um, you know, why don't you, you deserve, I feel like you can do more, not deserve, it's, mm -hmm. you can do more than this. Yeah. Yeah. So then I wrote, uh, I and I May, again, I got 10,000, mm -hmm. 2023. Then I was actually like, I didn't take BTR uh, then. Yeah. Then in uh, one of my friends had gone to your, uh, like, at that time only BTR was starting, I think, new yeah. up and coming. Yeah. So then what happened was he went to that uh, three days for BTR and mm -hmm. uh, somehow I just got all of the notes. Mm -hmm. I was seeing the notes and I actually, I read them, I went to them for two days and I actually solved a lot of questions yeah. just with that notes. Yeah. So I thought, okay, let me just take it. It's, uh, it's not as expensive. Let me just take it. So I took it and you won't believe me, my rank went from uh, 10,000 to 900 wow. in November. Amazing. So I was like, I'm doing something right. And yeah. I was also like, uh, I just have to follow math. Yeah. So then again, meet, as you know, it got postponed and I wrote Aina again, me. I got the rank of uh, 530. So, but I was a little sad because 530 will let you know where I wanted general medicine and I know that it, like in INI, 530 will not get you medicine. Yeah. But throughout the whole journey, I felt um, like some guiding force was there. And yeah, like 
but what an improvement you know that's massive the the improvement now then you've been you know plateaued at a very good level it was a very good plateau at 900 500 and 500 but uh, but the massive uh, you know improvement that you uh, showed between may and november i mean uh, what did you do at that time that's what i really want to understand because that's what will help the students the most because i i believe you yeah. did your entire core preparation in what four months Oh, I'm actually internship ke time se, like basically I was now I I'm not going to say say that I didn't study anything in last four months my sense because then I'd be lying. I was I had my basic knowledge was strong only. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the reason why my rank was so high in May 2022 20, was because in the last final months I didn't prepare properly. Right. So this exam tests your patience yeah. and it tests like it's it's like a shooting game. Hmm. It's not, it's not, a, it is a marathon, but in the end, you also have to like prepare for the spring. Yeah. So, uh, like when I took BTR, right, uh, what I did was I just followed your timetable. Mm. So you were like BTR, and I think bonus BTR, you were doing then you were recording videos and I was listening to those videos and it became like a TV show for me <laughs> because I'm not someone who can remember stuff, uh, like I cannot read and remember. Hmm. A lot of people can, I cannot. Yeah, so yeah. your idea of uh, active recall worked very well. And I watched your videos again and again and again. Like whatever time, no TV show, I think this is only my TV show. I was just watching the DTR videos. And uh, like I was at that point of time, I think TNG did not start yet. So I did uh, like from different uh, coaching platforms, I finished like QBank. I was every day I was doing questions. Because you emphasized it, you emphasized on that on every class of yours that no matter how much you study, you have to do MCQs. So uh, I feel like I studied less and I did more MCQs ultimately. And that is what helped me the most. Absolutely. Because no matter how much content you do, and that's a mistake a lot of students do, is they keep reading stuff, you know, or they keep yeah. watching. And at end of the day, it's an MCQ exam. There is no mm. possible way you will know everything about everything. Uh, and, and, you know, every question that comes to is not going to be known. So end of the day, when you solve enough MCQs, you will develop the skill of, of eliminating, uh, using whatever you know to still answer the question, even if you don't actually know the answer. And that's mm. what you have to master. And it comes as a practice, uh, you know. And also the fact that you were constantly studying something, you know, whether it was USMLE or it was for NEET PG you were constantly in touch with the content i think that also helped yeah uh, ma'am because it's the fact that the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. the fact that the exam was also like i have i had to write so many exams that were sitting postponed as well mm -hmm. i was uh, like studying the same syllabus again and again and not just like reading reading yeah. i mm -hmm. had flashcards i made flashcards out of your group yeah integrated oh, i made my own flashcards and i was adding to that stuff like that was my 20th notebook yeah I was making flashcards and I was going through those flashcards every day because that app, whatever you use, it will help you actively call yeah. according to space preparation and all that. Yeah. So, yeah, so did, that is uh, yeah, did you also do the TNDs? I did all TNDs, man. I did. And did all, I watched all the videos also again. Mm -hmm. So, I watched all the things. Great. I Great. attempted and then I watched all the things. Okay. So, so then we uh, cut to, you know, this year when let's say 22nd June night, you know, <laughs> you are all set to give the exam and then it gets postponed all of a sudden. Again, that was also a painful thing to get to 22nd June, you know, after so <laughs> much uncertainty. So anyways, you get to there and then it gets postponed. So what was uh, your mindset that time? How did you react to that postponement? And, and, you know, what did you eventually end up doing in the last extra one month? I was used to all this postponement stuff now because it was going on since like yeah. I was there in the My mom was very sad. So I was like, oh God, <laughs> you know, my mom was sad. <laughs> like how many <laughs> days will you prepare? I can't watch you like this. <laughs> but um, once the date comes, until the date came, I did not, I could not study. I was watching TND actually, TND uh, 1.0 because that one I, I like you had USMLE type questions in that. Yeah. So my mom was also like, you follow that and you follow some USMLE questions. And yeah. surprisingly, those questions came in this exam. Yeah. So, my God. The pattern was very similar to 1.0, you know. So, see how destiny yeah. plays, you know. You revise that and then the, they change yeah. the pattern. <laughs> and that pattern, your assembly pattern only. So, like, I then when, when the date came, I followed the, the schedule that you gave. But I think it was a little different from your regular schedule. But still, um, 
I just revised everything. I didn't study anything new. I couldn't study anything new. I was just going through whatever I could. And I just made sure that I just saw everything once. And before uh, the exam, I summarized. This also you only told that you have to summarize your notes. I followed you like a lot, whatever you said, all the tips. Uh, I remember you said you have to like make a four sheets and all that. So I summarized subjects and I went through them. And um, yeah, like despite all the chaos that happened with the center being so far away, I went in a great, great job. Which, uh, which set were you in? Uh, first shift, mom. First shift. How was, how was the exam day for you? Um, exam giving experience? What was your mindset that time? Actually, like uh, I was, uh, I gave a lot of grant. I, like, I gave a lot of grant tests in the last month because I knew that if I stop giving grant tests, at momento will go. Yeah. So I gave a lot of grant tests, and that day also felt like um, it was a grant test to me. Hmm. But uh, I had a few hiccups just before the exam. Like there was some mistake in my in the photo and the person, and some mishap happened. Okay. So in the beginning, it was like little stressful. Yeah. But once the exam started, I just I was like, okay, I'll just give it my best shot. And it's just like uh, I was solving your uh, things only. Because you always say, look at the buzzword. Because this time I didn't have enough time to even read the whole thing. Yeah. So yeah, I was just looking at the buzzwords and I was looking at the options and I was like, it was like rapid fire. Yeah. I was scared that maybe I might make mistakes, but uh, I had to be quick. Yeah. So, and it helped me out. Plus the set pattern uh, made sure, you know, your time management was uh, happening automatically because, you know, you yeah, yeah. time to go back to the questions. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, you know, so so having been through this very long journey and giving so many exams, you know, I think you are at a very good place to tell the juniors who, who are, uh, you know, at, at a point where they are wondering, should I take up a seat, whatever I get, should I give it another attempt? What is your take on, uh, you know, who should actually take a drop again, you know, because it it does become very taxing in the end. It's not just one year, it, it's a very, very lonely, stressful one year of your life. And I've seen so many students having developing new mental health issues during this time. So, so you know, what is your uh, advice to everybody who is at a juncture where they don't know what to do? And you know, if they have to restart, what should be the mindset? Ma'am, basically, for every individual, they'll have their own goal. And that goal is that goal becomes influenced by what other people will think about us. So let's say some person got 15,000 grand and uh, they want to attempt again. But everyone around them, their classmates are taking off whatever subject to get. And everyone is settling down so that inherent FOMO will be there. But well, I don't know how to step it down. But what, it, what, what that person thought in the beginning was, no, no, I can do better. If that person feels like no matter what happens, even if there's an earthquake, I'll go and write the exam and do it. Every day I give my best shot. I don't care because one year down the line, no one will remember how many times you wrote the exam. They'll only remember what you've done today. So they'll forget. Like once you get a good time, they'll forget everything and it doesn't even matter. Most of the time I feel the primary fear is what other people will think. So if you just remove that off and do what you want. If you want to settle for whatever you want, sure, go ahead. But if you don't want to, then you have to start off. And and one more really important thing is, the, like when I was starting off my journey again and again, I was not doing the same thing again and again. I was trying to change my methods of studying. Because if I study in the same way, same rank I'll get. Yeah. So that's what I tell my junior, that uh, if you are thinking of like, repeating, change the way you study. Yeah. Study smart. Don't study like like big stuff because you won't even end up remembering it. Correct. So change the way in which you study and just have a positive attitude. Everything is like positive take care of everything. Yeah. Yeah, very beautifully said, you know, that in the end, uh, this one year actually that we think of, of as a drop year uh, become doesn't count, you know, when you are, you know, you do your MD, maybe you follow it up with a three year specialization again or a fellowship, then all your life you're going to do that only. So that yeah. additional year to get there, if, if you know, you're so passionate about something doesn't matter, you know, you are yeah. then rest of the 30 40 years of your life you're going to be doing that only so so you know uh follow you're proud of yourself that i took a step and it grew up with. my network my stuck probably that's okay yeah so so
I, I mean, uh, great discussion and, and, and a lot of insight about, you know, what goes through more than, you know, the resources and all. I think this is more valuable to, to people who are listening because these are the issues which are going on. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, Dr. Vanna and more power to you. Uh, uh, so what, what are the plans now? So you want to pursue USMLE or, or you would take up a seat? Uh, <laughs> or, or, I'm, to think. I'm thinking of uh, like taking a seat in general medicine. And I will parallelly pursue my US family because I want to do research and uh, I want to do research in the best institute. I'm not saying India doesn't have good institute, but I just, I'd like to see myself uh, there someday. Yeah, we can have a talk on that. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll connect and I can tell you a few pointers. Thank <laughs> or, you. What I feel you it's should. Fan moment, like, uh, you know, this talking to you is really yeah, enough. It was lovely talking to you. And, and let me tell you, you're such a, a beautiful speaker, very sorted uh, and <laughs> uh, very centered. Uh, so love that about you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Keep you. inspiring students, ma'am, and just be yourself and you'll work. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Bye. Okay, ma'am. Bye, ma'am.